So what's up guys, welcome back to Protectives, happy new year and today we are diving into a very common and frustrating problem, no internet secured on Windows 10 or 11. Okay, right, so don't worry if you are facing this issue, I'm going to walk you through a few methods to fix this, okay, right, so stick around and let's get you back online. Right, so if you click on your internet gear here, you will see that you are connected to your hotspot or Wi-Fi, but uh, for some reasons, Windows keep on telling you that no internet secured, so in that case you cannot be connected to the internet okay so if you have this problem don't worry at the end of this video you are going to get this fixed and get back online okay all right so for the first method come to your windows search and you're going to search for i-n-e-t uh, c-p-l dot c-p-l okay uh you're going to open this app right here click on it and then this is going to pull out this window and once you're here click on connections and then um come down and click on LAN settings. Okay, so once this window opens up, uh come to the proxy server and then if it were already uh checked like this, then uh that could be the problem. Okay, right. So if it is uh checked that way, you have to uncheck it and then uh click on OK, then click on OK again, and then you are done. So this will fix your issue. So if it doesn't, let's move to the second method, okay? So on the second method, we are going to the window search and we are going to type uh, ncpa.cpl and then we're going to open this up right here, click on it. Right, so you have this window here. If you are connected to the internet through Ethernet, then you work with that one. But I'm connected through my mobile hotspot, so I'm going to locate it. That is Wi Fi at the bottom here. So I'm going to right click on it and then I'll click on properties. So once I here, scroll through to Internet uh, Protocol version 6. Make sure you uncheck it if it is already checked. Okay, so mine is here. I'm going to uncheck it and then uh, scroll back to Internet Protocol version 4. Select it and then click on properties. And then uh, once a year, uh, make sure it is selected to obtain an IP address automatically. Okay, right. And then you come down to the DNS and then make sure it is left on obtain DNS server address automatically as well. So leave the settings and click on OK. Then click on close. All right. And then you can close this window. All right. So this will fix the issue. If it doesn't, let's move to the third method. OK. All right. So come to the windows, search again. And then we are going to search for network um, reset. Okay, it is right here, so click on it. All right, so once you're here, you're going to just click on reset now. But uh, before you do that, uh, make sure you remember the password of your hotspot because after resetting, you will have to enter your password again to connect, okay? All right, so I remember my password. I'm just going to click on reset and then click on yes. Okay, all right, so once you're done with this, you have to restart your PC for this to work, okay? All right, so go ahead and do that. And then we are going to close this window. Now, so if you go ahead and restart your PC, it will work. But if it doesn't, let's move to the next uh, method. If you are connected to a VPN, and then this could be the major cause of it. Okay, right. So what you're going to do is that uh, click on your internet settings gear on the tax bar. And you should be able to see uh, the VPN you're using. I'm using a uh, Privado VPN. You can see that. Okay, so what we need to do is uh, just click on your start button. And we are going to go to uh settings go to network and internet and then go to vpn you will see the list of vpns you are connected to so mine is here i'm just going to click on it and then click on remove okay confirm and then you are good to go okay so all these methods to fix your problem. If it doesn't, then uh, the problem could be from your internet source. If you are connecting from your mobile hotspot, make sure that you have enough data and make sure the problem is not coming from your mobile or Wi-Fi device. If all that is set, then it should be able to work for you. Okay. All right, so in the last two methods, uh, we did network reset. So after that, you have to restart your PC. When you are back from restarting your PC, go ahead and then uh, connect your Wi-Fi again. I'm going to enter the uh, password. 
and then click on connect then we are going to see this time around if the issue has been fixed okay right so as you can see it is connected and secured so i can go ahead and then browse the internet okay all right so you point to the internet gear here and i have internet access all right so thank you for following and then hope to see you in the next video and goodbye